In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord. To sing, sing praise to your name, O Most High. To herald your love in the morning. Your, your truth at the close of the day. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the, the maker of heaven and earth. earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our, our Heavenly, Heavenly Father, we have sinned, sinned against you through our own fault in thought, thought and word and, word and deed and in what we have left, left undone. undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I will exalt you, O God, my King, and bless your name forever and ever. Every day will I bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised, for there is no end to his greatness. One generation shall praise your works to another and shall declare your power. I will ponder the glorious splendor of your majesty and all your marvelous works. They shall speak of the might of your wondrous acts, and I will tell of your greatness. They shall publish the remembrance of your great goodness. They shall sing of your righteous deeds. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is loving to everyone, and his compassion is over all his works. All your works praise you, O Lord, and your faithful servants bless you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Do not listen to the words of the prophets who prophesy to you. They are deluding you. They speak visions of their own minds, not from the mouth of the Lord. They keep saying to those who despise the word of the Lord, it shall be well with you. And to all who stubbornly follow their own stubborn hearts, they say, no calamity shall come upon you. For who has stood in the counsel of the Lord so as to see and to hear his word? Who has given heed to his word so as to proclaim it? Look, the storm of the Lord. Wrath has gone forth, a whirling tempest. It will burst upon the head of the wicked the anger of the Lord will not turn back until he has executed and accomplished the intents of his mind. In the latter days, you will answer it clearly. You will understand it clearly. I did not send the prophets, yet they ran. I did not speak to them, yet they prophesied. If they had stood in my counsel, then they would have proclaimed my words to my people, and they would have turned them from their evil way and from the evil of their doings. I am a God nearby, says the Lord, and not a God, God far off. Who can hide in secret places so that I cannot find them, says the Lord? Do I not fill heaven and earth, says the Lord? I have heard what the prophets have said, who said who prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. How long will the hearts of the prophets ever turn back? those who prophesy lies and who prophesy the deceit of their own heart. They plan to make my people forget my name by their dreams that they tell one another, just as their ancestors forgot my name for Baal. Let the prophet who has a dream tell the dream, but let the one who has my word speak my word faithfully. What has straw in common with wheat, says the Lord? Is not my word like fire, says the Lord, and like a hammer that breaks a rock in pieces? 
See, therefore, I am against the prophets, says the Lord, who steal my words from one another. See, I am against the prophets, says the Lord, who use their own tongues and say, says the Lord. See, I am against those who prophesy lying dreams, says the Lord, and who tell them and who lead my people astray by their lies and by their recklessness when I did. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, you alone can bring into order the unruly wills and affections of sinners. Grant your people grace to love what you command and desire what you promise, that among the swift and very changes of the world, our hearts may surely there be fixed where true joys are to be found. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, and shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, and awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, Lord now let us thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We will lie down in peace and take our rest. For it is you, O Lord, who make us live in safety. Abide with us, O Lord, for evening is at hand and the day is past. As the watchman looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord be with you. And, and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless and keep us. Amen. Amen.